look, today I'm doing a video on making toast. My name is Chris and I'm here at the Henry Whitfield Museum and I'm standing in front of one of the big fireplaces that we have here that we use to demonstrate our collection of cooking implements. And today I'm going to be talking more about two objects here in particular which are right by my feet and they are the toasters that we have here at the museum. This one here is a early 18th century toaster and the one behind it over here is an early 19th century toaster. So in a second I'm going to show you a comparison of different kinds of toasters that exist today and then demonstrate how to use some of them. So I have arranged a bunch of toasters in front of you on the great hall table and I want to start with the most modern one which is the toaster oven which is you would put the toast inside and obviously this is electric so you just hit the switch or the button and presto you'd have bread. Now moving along I have two other toasters the smaller one and the bigger one which also toast bread. Uh, the only difference really is uh, this one here you could do more toast four slices as opposed to two at a time as we head towards the right end of the table and right in the center this is the uh, an early toaster that was meant for young girls and the toast would actually fit into this little drawer and then it would flip up and believe it or not you would plug it into the wall and toast it. Um, and you can see it was only a dollar back then so that's a good deal. And moving right along um, these last three toasters um, really don't use electricity and that's the neat thing so this one here which we call the pyramid toaster or the stovetop toaster you would put the pieces of bread here and here so it's a four slice uh, toaster and then you would toast it to the way you'd like by putting it on top of some heat um, and these last two were the ones I showed in that in the previous segment but these are made of cast iron and wrought iron but even though they're, they're over a hundred years old Believe it or not, these will still work. All we need to do is build a fire. So, let's build a fire. Okay, so to make toast without using electricity, you're gonna have to build yourself a fire. I've gotten some kindling together, and I've got the toaster here, and in order to start my fire, I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way with steel and flint and a little bit of char cloth. And the way it works, as you can see, you can, it's a little harder than just pushing a button the electric way, but this way is a little more fun. So that didn't take too long. Put the bread in the toaster, put it by the fire. Took about uh, less than a minute as you can see. And voila, toast. And here we are. This is my lunch. Mmm. Oh, hey there. I thought you had left. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video about how to make toast. Some people like their toast with butter, uh, jam, peanut butter. You could put all sorts of things on it. I prefer my toast with Vegemite. So from all of us here at the Henry Whitfield Museum, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed learning how to make toast. On a final note, I would like to say that it's very difficult to make history on an empty stomach. Chris, I have your Vegemite toast. Thank you, Rich. Vegemite toast, my favorite.